No kujezani ya kisupa hero bro <laughs> What's up everybody and welcome back to the home of entertainment commentary Here we go. Fairy Pot Card. Brewing Entertainment Honey. Be in music. Ah, what's up guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the report card and we're I don't know what's wrong with that honey. Is this she okay? I I sort of feel like she has daddy issues. She's very toxic and her energy is just off. Something about her is, is a bit wanty. Because the babe said that for me, I love it when men hit me. Me na penda sometimes kupigwa pigwa. Hapana mimi. Mimi mimi na penda. Mimi na yani mimi na incho. I have never heard of such nonsense in my life. Like I was just like <laughs> There's nonsense and then this where must be to nonsense. You need help. Bottom line is this babe just needs help and she's crying out she's crying out for help she's just like please somebody save me because this is not normal it is not okay it is not it is not that thing where you just say oh maybe that's just like her her fetish you know she comes up and she claims that she loves it when men hit her as if it's some type of soft fetish it's something that would get her panties wet only because the process of pacifying her after the hitting is what she goes for like it gives her some type of high like a little drug like this because once you hit her you know she manipulates you to 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 get in you to you know to talk to her to empathize with her situation to treat her like a baby baby girl you need help like her, her entire vibe is just toxic and she's a lost human being Because I cannot imagine a woman spitting such rubbish, such nonsense, and you think it's okay for you to tell the world that I love it when men hit me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so some things, some things just do not. They don't even mix. They are, they, they are, they don't even make sense. And there is nothing this hand can say that can can justify that kind of nonsense she was speaking there. And there is nothing this hand can say. That can can justify that kind of nonsense she was speaking there. Then when guys are coming for her, when when Mr. Petu got feelings and she was like, "Are they allowed to voice how I feel? Are they allowed to just be talk? No, babe, no, you're not. And and it's really worrying because if this is the kind of reason that this Tanzanian hands out, they were even this Tanzanian hands came out at some point and they said. Without fear of contradiction, they're just like, um, Kofi, Lampenzi, Halyumi, that's what they usually say. And then gender-based domestic violence in Tanzania, like towards women, is an, it's an, it's at an all-time high. Yeah! It's like rubbish. Go collect your self-esteem where you left. I don't know where, I don't know where this babe pawned her self-esteem, but she needs to go get it. And she needs to get her life together. She's crying out, she needs help. We never saw this side of Waititu when she was with Frankie. Legit. Like when she was with Frankie, this baby was like a robot. Ever still, ever trying to act perfect, trying to act, you know, put together. But right now it's like this man is being a damn brotherly and this man is just, you know, this man is loving. Whoever that is, whether there's a man or there's no man. But this babe right now, you can tell she's in a good place. You know, look, look at her arms. They're looking flat. Like, you know, you know a woman is happy in her relationship when she starts adding weight. And she doesn't care and she's laughing. And I, I, I looked at her and I was like, legit, Maureen. I honestly believe when you say you are happy and you are fulfilled in your current relationship. Or maybe she just found herself. Because with Frankie, Maureen was super pissed, like I think, for two years straight. Fam, like, she, like this babe would take photos and you could see the pain through that smile. But right now, ah, ah, 
phenomenal. She's glowing and she looks happy. She's adding a bit of weight. And she's look I don't want the more in the brain, like that, that that much we cannot at least it be that. So now she 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 even looks like ah, I got my shit together, my man is digging me that like the that the clofen appeal that this man is giving me is just what I needed more. Hello, 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 ah my right, yeah. Miss I've never seen that side of Maureen Wait too, honestly. Because every damn time Maureen would just be so smooth. Nah, nah, again, yeah, she'd, she'd be looking like we just have here trying to do life, but life is literally doing me. But I just have to do this because we have to eat. But right now, man, ish, ish, a girl to a girl to a look at me. I'm here to speak about our good old city bishop, Bishop David Murray, who was sued by his clandestine and baby's mama for absconding duties. Now, um, <laughs> the clandestine slash baby's mama went to Masai Japanese platform and I tell you, my mouth was like, eh? What did that do open here? Like, somebody please come here. My girl was lost. She said that, you know, the good old bishop and I met at a bar. And I was like, by the way, what is the bishop doing in a bar? A bed? Was it trying to turn water into wine? I just did not understand it. Then other than that, uh, the clandestine slash baby's mama also alleged that the bishop was into some devil worshipping things and he was abusive AF that he used to hit her and he wanted to be like a chapo. Quacky. Were you married to him? No, I wasn't married to him. Well, did you know he was married? I knew he was married. 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 It was very abusive sometimes. Like, oh, really? He was a He's not a man who likes being confronted. Not an account, you know, you're the one who actually uh, you pushed me, you provoked me. Same same time I was pregnant, I put a track on this account. You remember, I could remember a few minutes ago. I told him that I didn't tell you to have any trouble, and he knows it. The reason I even came today is because you, why would you lie about one who called me a blackmailer, an extorter? Now, when do many blackmail when you do it? I'm so sorry. And the truth is, guys, there are a lot of bloodlines in this whole Christian walk where everything slides. And when we start talking about these things, there will be told stop judging, you're not perfect, you're not this, you're not that. I don't wait to hear the type of beer that will be done here. This lady has taken on us, you know, on a spree to just tarnish his name, which is, I am not going to buy that. So, Vera Sidika is. This is this, and at the back of my mind, I was like, who the fuck read that whole thing that this baby is? He paragraphed my name, my dog, my dog, and the whole read was towards a uh, brown mouse's wife. <laughs> hey! Woo! Vera. Vera, wait. Today, Vera Sidika is the one to call out a hand who is 24, 25 years claiming that you know she's just that new age and she has been divorced twice with old men 151 was 60 Vera Sidika the same hand who went to Nigeria and she was doing any other business in Nigeria <laughs> let me not go there the point was she was trying to say that Brown Moses is a saint Brown Moses should not be accused falsely of things he knows nothing of I go <laughs> abusing her blah 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 maybe that's because brown has absconded his duties as a daddy do you is, is that could that be a reason okay is, is that something that's that's substantial vera maybe in your books hello then vera even goes ahead to say listen leave us alone we are happy like don't ever vouch for a man because the same way this man left you High and dry, like the same thing he did to those other hands, is probably the same bullshit he's going to do to you at some point. Just wait and see. This thing is going to detonate in five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten seconds. If it work on this thing where you feel like now Brock is your man, is your right. Ah, my friend, would I be? Would I be? I'm too 
For this guy at some point, you even wanted to kill and gorge people's eyes out. You start saying, ah, bah, 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 I didn't know that, mama, 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 tulia, vera, tulia, mama, tulia. Let's just wait and see. He is a figure. Like, in the mambo, I was a kumsuta, one of the ones that was a big nini. See you, you know, we want to make you one who says that. This is such bullshit. And then I was probably having a conversation with the 24 year old self because God knows what this lady got up to when in Nigeria in her hey days before she decided to down her tools and say that now nah, I want to be a mom. <laughs> we say you. But it's all good. It's all good. So, where we be a pronounce, we be ex, we be nani, un suit, or si you come out, we be a pronounce, we are going to tell you, so my judge, you know. But I was like, bro, they will never graduate with a PhD. But maybe I'll graduate with something that looks this sketchy. So she decided to paste that whole thing there for us to build it. Anywho, 